Hello, most of you know me from the Wii U 5. I'm creating a new section on my channel to bring more value to my subscribers. I will review PC games on rare occasions and post them to my section called PC Game Reviews. This is my way of thanking my subscribers by giving them more reasons to keep an eye on my channel. So let's get started with my review of Titanfall. Titanfall is developed by Respawn Entertainment, a newly founded studio from the co-creators of the Call of Duty franchise. While this is their first game, the good pedigree from Call of Duty is undeniable. Let's start by saying that Titanfall controls really well. Whether you're on foot or in a Titan, expect controls that are responsive and feel refined. This is to be expected from developers experienced in the Call of Duty franchise. When you're on foot, the sheer freedom of wall running and verticality can be rather invigorating, and aiming down the sights and shooting down your opponents is fast and frantic. Make no mistake, however, that you are not hopeless against a Titan, as all pilots are automatically equipped with anti-Titan weapons. Yep, you have weaponry to fight Titans at all times. Once you're the one in a Titan, this all changes to limited accessibility on the map and lack of overall mobility, and is replaced by high-powered weaponry. A Titan is powerful, and your target is primarily going to be other Titans. It's the Titan against Titan combat that adds that extra flavor. The Titans work very well as vehicles, so if you're into the mix of infantry and vehicles in your multiplayer experience and want something new, your game has arrived. But if you're a real multitasker, you can actually mix the two yourself, setting the Titan to autopilot and fighting alongside it on foot, giving you both infantry and vehicle combat at the same time. In fact, sometimes working with your Titan rather than being in it can be very effective. If you are new or just not that effective in FPS games, worry not. They added simple grunts, which are NPC soldiers that can't even hit moving targets and are literally cannon fodder. This lets new players or less skilled players contribute to the fight. Content is where Titanfall has its biggest issue. Let me start by saying that what is here is not worth the $60 price tag. While a game has a good number of modes and 15 maps, the reality is that the campaign mode is really just a very long tutorial through 9 maps with narrative that can barely be paid attention to in the absolutely crazy battlefield of Titan in infantry combat. You will have played all the maps and all the modes very quickly. The game has plenty of unlockables, fortunately, and also a similar rank system to Call of Duty, allowing you to prestige by way of what's called regeneration. However, when all is said and done, the money they saved by not having a single player campaign mode and the lack of any novelty modes much like Call of Duty Zombies or Extinction modes really puts a strain on what you get for $60. What I will say though, is that what is here is enjoyable. You get a strong multiplayer suite that offers a unique blend of infantry and titan combat that will last you many, many hours to come. The graphics are good. They're not great, but good. Titanfall runs on the rather old Source engine that powered popular games like Counter-Strike Source and Half-Life 2. The engine is heavily modified, and the good news is that it can run well on lower spec or older PCs. The game does not support SLI or Crossfire, but is supposedly going to be patched in later. Another disappointing graphical situation that applies to anyone is the textures. On the insane setting for textures, there are still blurry textures to be found all over the place. Both of those things aside, the game is still a good looking game, even on lower settings, which I recommend even for those of us with powerful rigs until further patching occurs. Titanfall is a fresh take on the infantry and vehicle combat scenario. It takes Call of Duty's refined infantry combat, maps the size of the Ghost Sentry, and then throws in Titans with powerful weaponry. It creates balance between the two by ensuring that every pilot has anti-Titan weaponry, and Titans have limited access to the map and minimize mobility. The game is fast, yet slow. Big, yet small. And in the end, good, but not quite great. If you are interested in this game, buy it. If you're tired of FPS games, this game may not entirely reboot your interest. However, if you're just looking for a good fight, then this is the game for you. I give Titanfall an 8 out of 10. That's it for today. Facebook, Twitter, subscribe, you know the drill. See you on my next PC game review.